You know, as a cow-calf producer, I considered myself a pretty good judge of cattle. I took special pride in being able to choose above-average bulls that would improve our operation. However, I now realize that I didn't know as much as I thought I did. I used to pay special attention to weaning weights and milk EPDs. My logic was, a bull with a big weaning weight would produce heavier calves and more milk would help them grow faster. But let's take a look at where those decisions lead. Because of my bull buying decisions, I produced beautiful, large-framed, hard-keeping replacement heifers with a high percentage of washouts after the first calf. Unfortunately, that's the status quo logic in the beef industry today. Many of us are left with a pasture full of big, high-maintenance cows that must be supplemented to reproduce. However, it doesn't have to stay that way. For 35 years, Pharaoh Cattle Company has offered genetics that will improve grass efficiency, maintenance costs, fertility, and profit per acre. So what are the most important traits to consider when selecting your next herd sire? Here are a few at the top of the list that may surprise you, but will translate into profit for the cow-calf producer. Let's start with longevity. A bull that comes from a cow who has done everything right for several years will carry traits of early maturity, fertility, and fleshing ease. Those are the traits that help that cow rebreed on time and bring home a calf year after year after year. That cow has solved all the problems of her environment and come out a winner. Calving ease is near the top of my list. I got sick and tired of two o'clock heifer checks and calf pullers. PCC calves are birthed easier with less stress, enabling them to jump up and nurse right away, giving them a healthier start. Kip Faro reminds us often that prices for dead calves are distressingly low. Calving ease will increase your profit with more live calves, less labor, and better breed back. Fleshing ability. Simply put, this is the animal's ability to put on the, and maintain good body condition, even on low quality feed. There appears to be an extremely high correlation between fertility and fleshing ability. Easy fleshing cows will breed back earlier and stay in the cow herd longer than hard keeping cows. Low maintenance. One of the things that limits profitability on the ranch is cow maintenance costs. Because of this, breed associations have developed EPDs that predict the amount of energy required by mature cows to maintain body condition. For the Angus breed, it's the Dollars Energy EPD. Red Angus has a similar EPD called the Maintenance Energy EPD. Most status quo genetics stink in the area of cow energy requirements because they've consistently selected for more growth and more milk. In contrast, nearly all the genetics used by PCC are ultra-low maintenance. You will find that most every bull in our catalog is rated 5 stars for low maintenance. Every PCC bull is rated on a 5-star scale for thickness and muscling. With grass-developed bulls, what you see is what you get. They won't melt when you take them home and put them to work. Thickness is a measure of carcass capacity, seen in the depth of rib and width across the back. Muscling is expressed most clearly over the rump and in the twist. Genuine thickness and muscling is bred in, not fed in. There are many other important traits to consider, but PCC does much of the work for you. Scores for carcass quality, hair coat, grass efficiency, or the dam's udder can all be found in the sale catalog. If you select the right kind of bull, you will produce the right kind of cows, and they will increase your profit. Visit us on the web or call PCC headquarters. Let us help you find the traits you need in your next herd sire. Mm -hmm.